What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. 50, 50, 50 spy taking an absolute dump towards the end of the day. The VIX was ripping. This week was a rough one in the market overall. AMC absolutely killed it. We're going to go over everything that is going on and why investors do not want to hold anything over this weekend. Let's get right into it. First off, the SPY coming up a little bit out of the gate, an immediate sell off, had a little bit of consolidation and a little bit of a reversal here. We saw midday. And that was it right after lunchtime. Absolute dump, just accelerating all the way on the way down. We're going to get into why, and then we're going to come back to the charts. Also, take a look at the VIX, which is a fear and volatility index, absolutely ripping all the way up to that $21 level. I've said this numerous times. If you've been following my channel, that $16 level is key. We seem to touch that, get in it, maybe get a little bit below it, and very quickly, we are out of it. Let's take a look at what happened just overall in the market for the past five days. Pretty big bloodbath overall. I'm going to go over exactly why. First of all, investors are looking very closely with what is happening with the coronavirus because this curve is continuing to go up and up and up. And what happened today and yesterday, which was announced that President Biden announces that COVID-19 vaccine mandates that will affect 100 million Americans, I believe he said any company that holds more than a hundred people would require mandatory vaccines or mandatory weekly testing. And as much as some people might be thinking to themselves, oh, well, that's good. That means a, a more return to normal. Investors saw this as, you know what, there's a reason why he's doing it. And it's because cases are beginning to spike. You even saw some you know, companies such as Moderma and Novavax and Pfizer that didn't really have the best of days today as well. So keep an eye on exactly what is going on. If you also look at just the, the spy on the, the natural one day, or I'm sorry, the daily chart over the last year, it's been continuing to rip. We've covered this many times. Pay close attention to that 50 moving average. We still have about 1% before we touch down from that. If we do not rebound from that, expect us to go pretty quickly down to 100 moving average. One thing I will also say is as of recently, just the past couple of days, there's been a lot of articles out there saying that the S&P is overdue for a correction, overdue for a correction. And as much as you and I might have you know, seen that and believed it for quite a while now, the articles kind of started you know, to go away because they knew that the stimulus pumping, all the money pumping back into the economy and the reopening was gonna keep the market going for quite a while. Those articles are starting to come back around. So as we've talked about playing the short plays, hanging on to a lot of your capital, wait for that reversal before you can really pounce on it or look to play to the short side. I will go over a couple of our plays that we absolutely did pretty well on today. One of them was AFRM. They had absolute monster earnings and had great guidance going through. I think I played this one perfectly. Rip above 115 would be a slow move up all day. Everybody absolutely crushed it on this one. Um, some people got even more more than I did on this one. They really rode this all the way out. Had the dip at the open, which you could see as it being up as high as it was. Natural profit taking to occur. Immediately come back and all the way up to 126. I think we had a few people that rode it all the way to 125. Absolutely of a home run of a play. Now, let's get into AMC. Ripping out of the gate up to that $51 level. I even said it would... Look for that rip. That's what I said right here. Explosion out of the gate, about a dollar fifty move. It should hit resistance of fifty one dollars and pull back a bit. As we've talked about numerous times, that next level after that forty eight and that fifty psychological was the fifty one dollar level. It hit it, came back a little bit, retested it, and it began to kind of sell off. And as this you know deceleration, as you see here, it might have been some profit taking going into the weekend, some shorts adding to their quick position. As you can see, what this is is this is retail traders shorting it, shorting it, and this is a little short covering. Small amount of shares is exactly what these pops are. These aren't longs, they're short coverings happening. Came back down, same thing. We close over 50, but still under 51 for a gentleman inside the group. You know, kudos to you. I was watching that stock go the whole way. But still, a great overall day for AMC. Now, if we jump back to the daily chart, as you've been following me for quite some time, I had said there's only so many times we go knocking, and eventually once we get through, it's going to be a bit of an explosion. Fridays are normally not a great day for AMC. It's a day where a lot of bulls, they play early on, they head off for the weekend. These retail shorts, they know that they can hammer this stock and begin to, and they literally wait for the Friday afternoons. And we hung on very, very well. It was, there was nothing, you know, nothing crazy, no crazy moves. And we broke above that. Well, 
let me say this now and if you're new once a previous resistance is broken and they can get through it which means if on you know next monday we get through it we hang around the 50 to 51 52 dollar level there's anywhere around in that area we can really confirm above that on a daily chart once a previous resistance is broken through it then begins to act as a support so if you remember how hard it was to get through that 48 dollars, and as you see this over here back in early july the one two three candles and then again for numerous days knocking on that 48 dollars level that's going to act as another very strong support for us going through so it's going to be paying a close eye attention there are some news and, and events that are going to be happening next week i wanted to make this quick video just to give everyone an update pay attention keep your ear close about what's happening what the sentiment is is fear starting to build take every article that you read with a grain of salt but get a feel for how you can expect the market to open on monday it's going to be a good indication for what's going to happen the rest of september september generally is not a positive month i still saw it to be you know to not hit that correction territory not getting down to that 10 percent but as of as of today seeing that massive sell-off going into the weekend also i will say this too that tomorrow marks the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks back in 2001 and some investors naturally just build a little bit of fear about what potentially you know could happen throughout those days as they're just you know not good memories for us so we'll take a moment of silence you know for everybody who was involved and lost a loved one in that tomorrow but that is also on the investors minds going forward you can go back in, in the years prior and see that that's just never a, a you know a positive time frame let alone september normally isn't so just keep your ears close to what's happening what the sentiment is Everything is full throttle ahead for AMC and keep your positions in anything else pretty tight. Keep your stop losses tight and don't go long, especially holding over the weekend. So I'll make another video, but that's it for this one. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I'll see you in the next one.